So the first part of the video would be her lawyer taking her through what would be called a direct examination. In other words, asking her to tell her own story in her own words with questions that prompt her from one stage to the next. Um, she's charged with misdemeanor battery, that is, hurting somebody uh, intentionally without their consent. And the defense that she has is self-defense. Okay. So I'm going to take you through the questions that I would ask you as your defense attorney, and then I'm going to switch hats and let you know what a prosecutor is going to ask you okay. on the witness stand. Um, first of all, you'll sit on the witness stand, and I'll ask you, uh, Ms. Virgin, would you state your full name, please? Jennifer Ann Virgin. And can you spell your last name? V-I-R-G-I-N. Thank you. Um, how old are you? I'm 22. Are you attending school at the moment? No. Um, are you employed? I'm between jobs. And what jobs? What job did you have last? I was a barista. Okay, what is that? Yeah, I make uh, coffee and. Okay. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I do. And can you tell us what his name is? Please? His name is Lance Goodlay. I would now want to draw your attention to March 14th of this year in the evening, okay? Okay. Were you with your boyfriend that evening? Yeah. Um, did you happen to go out with him to any place? I did. Where? We went to the KK. Can you say what the KK is, Oh, that's the, the college club. And what is the college club? It's a bar. Do you happen to go there very often? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I go there a lot. Have you been there with Mr. Goodley very often? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we met there. How long have you uh, been... Uh, girlfriend and boyfriend of Mr. Goodlay? Three weeks. Okay. And what did you do after you arrived? We ordered a couple of pictures. Pictures of what? Beer. Okay. Uh, when you say a couple, did you mean a couple both at the same time or one after the other or what do you mean? Um, I think we, I think we ordered two to start. Mm -hmm. And then we, you know, we were there with some people and we played some pool. And okay. Um, at any time during that evening, um, did you happen to come into contact with a person by the name of Kiki McFly? Oh, God, yes. And how do you know Miss McFly? Well, she was dating Lance when I met Lance. And how long had they been together, if you know? I don't know. I don't know. Like a couple months, maybe, or something. Can you please describe what uh, Miss McFly looks like? She's not very cute. She has bad hair. It's kind of like... Okay, let me interrupt you right there. I'm more interested in her characteristics, not what you think about how she looks. So you mentioned okay. she's 5'6". Can you give me an estimate of her weight? 160. Okay. Um, would you describe her as plump, muscular, any kind of description? She's kind of a big girl. Okay, when you say big girl, what do you mean? She looks strong. Okay. And why do you think she looks strong? I don't know, because she kind of has like this horse look about her, you know? I don't know. All right. Now, I want to draw your attention back now to March 14th. You were mentioned that you would arrive there at 8 p.m., is that correct? Yeah, about 8, maybe 8.30. And what time did you leave? Bar time. Too well, is that too I guess, early? you know, I, I guess the point is that I, I would have left at bar time if they hadn't kicked me out. Now, did you happen to speak with Miss McFly that evening? Yeah, I talked to her. And She talked to me first. And can you tell us what she said to you? Do you want, like, the exact words? Yes. She said, you are a boyfriend-stealing, bitch-ass hoe. The term hoe, what mm. does that signify to you? It means she doesn't like me. Is it a short form for a different word? For whore. I see. Duh. Do you have any idea why she was saying this to you? Well, because like I say, when I met Lance, she was dating Lance, or he was dating her. Now, after she came up to you and, and said this to you, um, did you say anything in reply? Yeah, I said, bitch, please. And I put up my hand, and I started to walk away. Okay. Now, you started to walk away. What happened then? Well, 
She threw her drink on me. How do you know it was her if you were walking away? Well, because it was as I was turning, and she said, bitch, don't walk away. Okay. Yeah, she said, don't walk away from me, and then I felt something cold, and she's holding a glass, and it's dripping. Okay. So you're assuming she's the one that threw the drink on you? Mm-hmm. Okay, what, if anything, did you do then? Well, what I did was I... Uh, went over and I grabbed the glass out of her hand and I threw it down on the floor. Okay. And I started yelling at her because that's not okay. She had ruined my shirt. Were you angry? I was angry. Right. So you were angry. What happened then? So I threw her glass down on the ground and it broke. Okay. And she swung at me, but she missed. And so I clocked her. Now when you say you clocked her, what do you mean by that? It means that I hit her. Okay. You hit her with I hit her with my fist, with my right fist. And where on her body did you hit her with your right fist? Right in her ugly mouth. Okay. After you hit her in the mouth, what happened then? Well, she started yelling, and she grabbed me, and we started we started kind of tussling. Okay. And, then, um, and then some people came in and broke us up, and I got kicked out. Um, were you the only one to get kicked out? No. Um, she got kicked out too, I think, but they like, they kicked me out first and then kept her, but I heard that later she got kicked out. Miss Virgin, when all of this was going on, was Mr. Goodlay still in the bar? Yeah, he was there. And what was he doing during this entire process between you and Miss McFly? He was watching. Right before, right before she came to talk to me, she was talking to him, and then she came over and said some stuff to me and got up in my face. But he was like, he was like right by there, and I think he was one of the ones that was trying to break us up, and he left with me. Um, did you have any opportunity prior to her swinging at you, or even afterwards, of simply walking away from her? Yeah, I could have walked away. Okay, why didn't you? I was so mad. She can't get away with that. She ruined my shirt. She took a swing at me. Okay. Did you suffer any injury from her at all? She can't hurt me. Now, Miss Virgin, you are aware, are you not, that Miss McFly had a black eye, correct? Yeah. <clears throat> and she had also a split lip, is that correct? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and but you yourself didn't suffer any injuries, correct? No, I mean like I say, I had some soreness up in here and I think I don't know, maybe some of my hair was missing over there, but were you each pulling each other's hmm. hair? Um, I think she was trying to pull at my hair. I'm not a hair puller. 